What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, we're going back to Sol 620, but this time it's a different rover. We're going back to Spirit Rover. Let me show you what we're talking about here. All right, you can see right here at the top, it's Spirit Rover. And I'll give you guys a link. You guys can check it out. You want to go about mm, almost halfway down the page. It's like right about here. This is the pan that we're going to look at, but we're going to narrow it down to one particular area. Now you can see it says, View from the summit taken by Spirit on August 23rd, 2005, as the rover completed the climb up Husband Hill. Now, you can see right here, they got more information, and you can always scroll down and check this out yourself. So, it's up on this summit, it's up pretty high to a certain degree. So, let's jump into that. Now, guys, I've done this before, it's a really good pan, and the stuff stands right out, even the regular pan it shows. But once you enhance this, wow. It's awesome. Now, first thing you'll notice is a couple of things right here. I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen. It almost looks like something you see like an old city bus. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is. I believe it's a structure. Look at it carefully. I'm going to zoom in as much as I can. I'm going to put it right smack dab in the middle of the screen. And I try to do that to all of the objects. This way here, if you guys can't see the cursor, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I'll put it in the middle of the screen. Now, you can see the way this thing is made. Look at the front of this. You can see the very faint line coming down. See, it going, it goes up and it goes like curves. We have this part right here that's actually cut out or whatever that is. Whatever this thing is, the body of a structure or a vehicle of some sort, right? When you go to the back, this is cool. This right here, I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen as well. It looks like a structure with many different openings, right? You can see it very faintly. One here, like a square opening. Then you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's like six to seven openings in this thing. Very faint, but it is in fact there. Right here is something very interesting. Big pile of whatever that may be. I'm going to see something up here as well. All in here. I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen. This whited area right here. Okay. Now, two things. My buddy Neville Thompson, who does the Gigapans, already enhanced this for us. What I did was a, uh, a couple of extra steps. In other words, he did the work. Kudos to him for doing it. I do not take the credit for it. But what I do do is do this. See the whited areas right here? Right here in between. It's just like blank. Like there's no information. But what we're going to do is we're going to bring that out. You can see a little bit here. Let me just zoom in just a little bit. Right there in the bottom. And guys, take out your magnifiers because you're going to need them. There's a lot of crazy things in here. So, guys, you know how that goes. If you see anything that interests you, just pause it and have a look at it with your magnifiers, right? And like I said, all of these white areas, if there's anything in them, we want to bring them out. Is it something that connects this darker area to this darker area? We don't know. But we won't know until we get into it. All right. Let's jump into this. Now, again, this has been done, this area. I do not take any credit for this. Again, Neville Thompson not only does uh, great pans, but he also does great enhancements. Again, bring back the lines. Bring back the shadows, just the darker parts of these objects, whatever they may be, right? So I enlarged the photo, and then what we're going to do, like I said, all of these areas right here, we're going to bring them back out right here. And, of course, the bottom here. Like that. We're going to try to bring out as much as this we can. Now, take a look at these objects in the back, like I said. Let me go ahead and just make this a little bit bigger. Okay, this stuff right here, this one here caught my eye on when I did this thing myself. Absolutely awesome. Something way in the back. Check that thing out. Again, pause this any way you like. Have a look at it. This stuff is not natural, guys. No way, no how is this stuff natural. Very interesting, and it just screams intelligently made. There's something right here. Check this out. Something coming from the top here from the top of the so-called hill and comes all the way down. But look at it. It's like it's got squares. I'm going to go like this first. Comes up like this. And you can see what looks like sections or something to this right here. And it's almost like it's stepped. Like there's sections, right? All right. Let's jump into this. I'm going to do it one by one. We don't have to go through every step because it will just take forever to do that. So let's do this. Here's the original or at least Nev's. Okay. Trying to fill in these spaces here in the bottom. Again, this is pretty cool. And you'll start to see little things starting to pop out of these sections, right? And, of course, you will see these coming out cleaner. What look like structures, ruins of structures, whatever they may be. I like the design of this piece in the back, right? 
look at this right here, almost like some kind of weird uh, building because when you zoom into this, check this out, the way this thing does this. Comes up, it's behind this so-called mountain, if you will. And I don't think it's a mountain, to be honest with you. It does this. Comes up like this. Goes like that. Now, I don't know what it does behind this mountain, but check this out. There's like another section of it right here. Then we have what looks like one, two, three, four, five. I find that pretty interesting, guys. It's just cool all the way around. Um, a lot of crazy stuff in here. And, and the more you look, the more you just go, wow, I didn't even see that last time. Check this out. All right. We'll go one more step. There you go. Guys, I, I every time I see this thing, it blows my mind because there's so much in here to say. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I want to give you guys the opportunity to pause this. I'm going to try to put it right in the middle where everything is. Pause this right here. And just look at the stuff, not only in the background, what I just pointed out, but all in the front here, in the foreground. I think there are many, many structures. I want you to keep something in mind. When we look at this pan, I'm going to back out. Now, understand this is right here in the back, right down in here, in that valley. We can see the wheel marks from the rover. It goes down right here. We don't know how far this thing drops off. It comes down this hill, and then we don't know how much it drops off from this point down to the bottom. So these things may be quite large. We don't know. There's no scale, so there's no way to know, right? But there you go. All right, I'm going to make it darker. Again, pause it. Have a look. Now you start to see all of these pieces at the top. Just cool, cool stuff here, guys. Whatever that is. This here is, and all of these little pieces now, like over here. Look at the bottom here, where it looks like it has what looks like a structure here. Going over here. Looks to have an opening right there, and I'm just going to go ahead and scribble that in. Put a little mock there, right there. And look at all the little pieces in here, guys. Look at this. All these little things, just the smallest little pieces. Keep in mind, if this is far off in the distance, the smallest things you're not going to see too well, right? They're just going to not be that clear. Objects in the background, check this stuff out. The stuff coming down from this hill. What I find interesting is the stuff at the top of this hill. Look at this thing right here. Right here. When you look at the back of that, check this out. You have... What well, looks like a flat area, period. Look at this. This is supposed to be between hills now. Look at this. Almost going across. It has a, actually a little dip right there, but it does this. But look at this right here. Almost like that has this like curved roof type thing. See this right here? And then look at all the little pieces in between here. Almost looks like Mayan structures hidden in like the forest and everything else. But take a good look at that. I'm going to back up just a little bit. Use your magnifiers. In fact, I'll do this a little bit here. Moving just a little bit. We don't want it too close, but we don't want it too far either, right? Check this stuff out. Again, there's no doubt in my mind that this is intelligently made stuff. Let's get into a little bit deeper. Let's see if we can find anything else in these wider spots. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try to make anything that's the lines here, make it a little crisper, a little bit darker. And anything that's lighter, we're going to make a little bit more lighter. Like the stuff back down here coming off this hill on the left. Try to brighten that up. Okay, right there. Check that out. I'm going to back up just a little bit. And there you go, guys. Check this stuff out. I said this before when I first analyzed this photo. And I did a lot of this area. I did this and the other side where it shows this really opened area, but it has like a circular kind of area uh, where it looks like there's structures and something else in that area. Incredible stuff here. Um, when I look at this, I just see ruins. I see ruins everywhere. Mechanical parts structures have a look at this down in the lower right corner pause it right here and have a look at these parts right down here all on the bottom and it almost looks like from here this one looks like a road type thing going in front of these structures okay it looks to be like another lower level down here 
and then the lowest level down here. Like something like the ancients would do. You're building uh, progressively down the hill. In other words, up to the top, you get a ledge, a ledge, a ledge, all the way down, like steps. But they're built in a way where they're all in a line. You got objects that look like this here. Looks like a pipe just facing us. A couple of pipes actually right there. And like I said, just all of these pieces, guys. Just this stuff I see is amazing. There's just so much here to say. This item right here looks like it's been blown to pieces or it's been designed like that. We don't even know. Check that out right there in that, in, inside that circle. Pause it. And then just look at the rest of this here. Like I said, this part coming all the way down this hill. All the way down. Coming down just like this. Like, the, like different levels in this valley, on this hill. Call it what you will. This thing is, is cool in the back. I love that too. Like a giant structure or something that's inside these hills. And to be truthful, I don't think there's a whole lot of it here is hills. All right, just brighten it up a little bit. All we did here is brought up the exposure a little bit just so we can get it a little bit brighter and just have another look, guys. And there you go. You know, guys, I said this before. It's amazing what you can find when you take a real close look at this stuff. You just don't know what you're ever going to find in here. There's a white strip of something right there buried underneath this, whatever this is right here. You can see it flat right here. Kind of hiding right inside here. See that? Not sure what to make of that, but guys, there you go. Again, a big thank you to Neville Thompson for enhancing this photo. This is awesome. I showed you the original, and I'll show it to you again real quickly. And again, all we do is just enhance these white spots to bring this stuff out a little bit more, to see what else is hidden in here, and then bring out the lines a little bit better. And there you go, guys. Guys, every time I see stuff like this, it screams intelligently made, and there's no way around this. It's not natural Martian surface, because you'd see just nice flowing hills, rocks, boulders, things like that. What we're seeing in this photo, no way, no how. This stuff looks like structures, uh, what looks like frames still left of structures, or some kind of weird craft, or whatever these things may be, and we can only guess and speculate as to what these things can be, because uh, we just don't know what they are. I mean, we're just being honest here, right? But we all know for a fact that this stuff is not natural, at least in my opinion. As always, you guys drop your comments, your thoughts, and your opinions about it. Please like and share. Always appreciate it. And guys, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It helps get this video out, and it is very much appreciated. Anyway, guys, more moon stuff coming up. We also have a Friday evening, 5 p.m. Eastern Time hangout. Please join us there. I think you guys will like it. A lot of you guys uh, haven't been on it, but I think you guys enjoy a great community. Um, great bunch of people, you know, everybody's in the same mindset, uh, just great bunch of people. There's nothing more I can say. So, uh, join us every Friday evening, 5 p.m. Hope to see you guys there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.